How is the pre-test total test ratio calculated? I understand it should be about 3% unit conversion required. Yeah, so it's it's difficult uh, to answer questions like this because there's different units used all over the world. I mean, in Europe, there's different units used from country to country. It's when you're consulting international clients, it's an absolute nightmare. Um, sometimes they even print the units wrong. So if you're in Europe and you're looking at your blood test and it doesn't look right, sometimes they actually print the wrong units. It happens more often than people would think. Um, so it's not so much how is the ratio calculated or what should the ratio be. Free testosterone is calculated based on your SHBG and your albumin. Albumin tends to stay more constant. Albumin is typically measured as part of a liver panel. So albumin doesn't vary that much unless you've got like liver disease. But SHBG varies a huge amount person to person. So depending on where your SHBG sits will depend on your ratio of total to free testosterone. And having a very high or a very low SHBG can be pathological. I, I have a very simple way of stating this. If SHBG has got one number or three numbers, you might have a problem. If it's between 10 and 99, it's probably fine. Now, if you're a younger guy and you've got an SHBG of 95, then of course, then that could be suggesting something too. But as a general rule of thumb, there's a very broad goalpost that SHBG sits within based on genetics. The two things, or the handful of things, sorry, that I see influence SHBG either up or down that people should be aware of. One is that hypothyroidism and insulin resistance will often lower SHBG. And that's something that should be assessed as part of a comprehensive review anyway. But that can be a, a red flag that those things need to be looked at. So maybe if someone's got, you know, a borderline thyroid panel and they've got an SHBG that's very low, that would warrant, you know, looking into running Hashimoto's antibodies. But I think people should just test them anyway. Um, and one thing that increases SHBG a lot, which a lot of people don't look at, is SSRI antidepressants, 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, vegetarian and vegan diets. So vegetarian and vegan diets will increase SHBG without increasing total testosterone, which leads to a lower free testosterone ratio. So there are also being in you know ketosis long term or being in you know, deep caloric restriction long term will raise it too as part of the body's survival adaptation. So when it comes to SHBG, it's important to recognize that genetics are a big factor. There can be pathologies leading it to be high or low. But what's going to determine an individual's free to total testosterone ratio is primarily going to be based on their SHBG.